are talking shorter, which is also known as enforcement. This is a Danish police crime drama action movie with a politically charged and timely subject matter. It focuses on two policemen who have kind of opposing views. We have the more veteran cop who is a little bit rough and ready, shall we say, and uh, a couple of his colleagues and himself uh, potentially were involved in an incident where a young boy was killed for, from a kind of an ethnic background uh, through to kind of pr police brutality. And um, this has kind of caused tensions within the kind of local kind of uh, Muslim community and things like this. And he's teamed up with another cop who seems to be somewhat more righteous, but maybe is a vic you know, he has kind of his own issues, which may be apathy. So these two guys are somewhat at odds with each other and kind of, there's a kind of a bit, it's clearly an unspoken tension initially. And uh, they are advised to stay out of a particular area because they don't want to kind of incite any more problems. However, they end up having to go in this area when they spot a potential crime. However, it comes on the radio that the, 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 uh, the young lad that was in hospital due to this kind of police, police brutality has died and this kind of ignites essentially rioting and these two policemen caught right in the middle of this kind of uh, Muslim neighbourhood, uh, well, pr predominantly Muslim neighbourhood, and now uh, at lives are in danger and as the movie progresses, perceptions will change both from the actual characters in the movie supporting characters and you as a viewer as well. I won't say any more than that because the movie does a good job here of shifting your expectations and your assumptions of people. So let's talk about what works first of all. That, I actually think this movie it starts off, you know, you know, you have your kind of views in one point and the movie I think does a good job of really taking you through a journey of, of, of judging people, you know, expectations, uh, you know, judging a book by its cover, so to speak, and um, asking you the question what you would do in, in kind of maybe certain situations. And, and they feel this is the movie's greatest strength because, they, you know, you, you kind of go on the journey, not just with these two police officers, but with supporting characters as well. They end up dragging this young boy, uh, Arab boy, around because they could have arrested him for something relatively minor initially. But uh, you know, again, it's the relationship between these kind of three characters and, and other characters that will come into the kind of frame as well. And how, you know, how maybe sometimes good intentions can kind of go the wrong way and how you, you, you've maybe judged someone uh, one way when maybe you should be thinking about it. And sometimes, you know, you ultimately you're left with no choice with certain things. It's, it's a fascinating moral quandary which kind of completely blurs the lines uh, that never really has a straight kind of protagonist and stuff like that. I think it was very, very well done. Coupled with some fantastic acting. Obviously, it's a Danish movie. But you know what? It, it almost I almost forgot about that. It, it kind of, it was, I, I was so sucked in by the story here uh, and the acting. It, it was just, you know, it, I was just sucked into the story and the characters. I have to say as well, that it has some really fantastic cinematography. Uh, there's some really uh, great use of kind of lighting, these kind of use of flares, for example, to make kind of menacing uh, kind of urban environments, you know, and, and some, it, it kind of has an American feel to it, but not kind of, it still has American feel to it, but it also has that slight kind of European tinge as well, I would say, in just kind of the, the filmmaking that gives it a unique kind of flavour, but still familiar with kind of what you've seen uh, in movies in a little bit like maybe End of Watch and things like this and kind of Training Day. So I thought this movie was very, very well made. And when there is violence on screen, it's kind of heart hitting. And, and you feel the kind of every shot and every kind of punch that is, that is uh, you know, that is thrown here. Uh, do I have any negatives? I think there are a couple of story elements where it just, I think, loses a little bit of realism. I think the, 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 the beginning is a little bit muddled. I don't think it starts off in the particularly uh, uh, on a strong foot. And then there are a couple of decisions as the movie progresses where you think, I don't know if that completely makes logical sense or if characters would realistically do that. And the end, the very, very ending as well, I think it, it, it seemed like it... Then, 
it ended more on a, on a dramatic note rather than a realistic note as well. And I would have actually liked to have seen it maybe had a five minutes more to kind of have an epilogue about the the end results of ultimately what happened. So it's a minor, there's no major quibbles with the story. There's just some elements here that I feel just kind of don't make it quite as realistic as maybe other parts of the film. But the, the movie's real strength here is, is playing with your expectations and kind of like, you know, you'll have your... When you first are introduced to the characters, we have the, the kind of, obviously, what you think is sort of somewhat of a corrupt and rough and ready cop and the altruistic cop. And although they still have those elements... You, you, the movie will progress and you kind of learn that maybe things aren't quite as black and white and not and they're not just with them, it's all, with, with the other characters that are involved as well. So I thought it was fascinating, very well done movie. Uh, again, it just kind of maybe goes, ends up being a little bit B-movie here and there, not quite coming up to, you know, an awards-worthy film maybe. It's certainly very strong. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Very w worth a watch if you like your kind of crime dramas that sort of thing uh, police kind of like action movies um well made i enjoyed it a lot seven out of ten have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i shall look forward to seeing you next time bye for now